Last season was a pretty big learning curve for us. Now we've got a much better understanding on the car and, and for myself how to drive them. Obviously this year working towards you know really minimising those mistakes and you know staying nice and consistent and the goal is to still win and, uh, and whatnot. So yeah, really trying to work towards that. I sort of underestimated it a little bit um, going into the season, but yeah, now you're in it, it's, it's a tough field. It's, the competition is very close and they're hard drivers to race against. You've got massive competition where you've got guys fighting for race wins. You're not racing with juniors, you're racing overall. But when you can get a good result, it's obviously hard, hard fought and you earn it. It was a good weekend, doesn't really get much better than that. Uh, pole and then three wins. Hopefully we can do the same thing in a, in a month or so time up in Darwin. Finally, um, bag a win up in Darwin. It was awesome. It really sort of affirmed, um, you know, the direction that we've been heading and, and all the hard work that we've been putting in. Obviously, with the injury that uh, occurred in Darwin, it's basically just been full steam ahead and doing everything we possibly can to get back in the car this weekend. First pole at the start in pro class. That was amazing thing to tick off first, and then hopefully now we're going for a lot more top threes and some more wins as well. So we'll definitely be pushing our hardest. We're heading right down to the wire in the Michelin Junior Championship. There's only a few points separating Jordan and I. Obviously, so many on offer in this last round. So really hoping that we can have a strong one and come out on top. Awesome weekend, you know, to come away with pole and three wins was awesome. I'm excited to wrap that up. Obviously, it's been, a, been one of the goals since we started a cup challenge two years ago. So, really happy to uh, lock that one in the bag. There's still two rounds to go in the championship, so uh, really looking forward to Bathurst and Gold Coast.